Hi, this is Piero, Head of Software Development at SecPoint. I'm here to show you some of the features of the new Penetrator 14.5. All the new features are about the data entry of the IP addresses in the audit scan templates, audit scan and schedule scan. Let's create, for instance, a new template. Here we have the entry field where we can enter the IP address or range of IP addresses. Let's enter, for instance, a range with the CIDR notation. Now, if we enter another IP address which is within this range, this was not possible in the previous version of the penetrator, while now instead it is possible and this new IP address is automatically marked as excluded from the scan. So when you will start scanning this range of IPs, this IP address will not be scanned. And this is valid for audit scans and schedule scans. The same is also valid for ranges of IP with this notation. So you can enter a C class range with this notation and now if you enter another IP address in this range this new IP address will be automatically marked as excluded from the scan. Now you can click on next and save the template. We also made another improvement to the data entry allowing to enter in this entry field a long list of IP addresses separated by comma. Here in my notepad I have a long list of IP addresses. I can copy and paste it here and just click on add and this will add the list to my list of IPs to scan. In this way you can add any list of valid IP addresses but of course if you want to add a list of consecutive IP addresses in the C class the best way to do it is through a range notation. Another feature we have added to the data entry is a check on the exclusion of IP ranges. You will notice here that it's not possible to select these two checkboxes. So this means that it's not possible to exclude any IP range from the scan. Instead it is always possible to exclude a single IP from the scan. Well, it's all for now. Thank you for your attention and see you next time. Bye-bye.